Hello, uh, my name's Sam, and I'd like to just show you a little bit of uh, the latest book that I wrote. It's called February 29, or Feb 29. It's an anthology or collection of short stories set in contemporary Stockton, California. Uh, I just got the book in today, so it came in the mail. I have uh, several copies available for basically $5 if you can get in touch with me. And on the website at CreateSpace and at Amazon.com, it's for seven. So uh, get a special Filipino discount. Nah, just kidding. But uh, I'd like to read a little bit about from the book, Feb, Feb 29, February 29th. Now it's uh, there's a couple stories in there. The first story is uh, called "Can't Find My Way Home," and it's about a young teenage girl um, who is named Cleopatra Ramirez and she has her adventure with a BB gun. For anyone who's known me for the last 20, let's say 22, 23 years, you guys know the real story behind that, that uh, it, was, it was me getting arrested for a BB gun. It wasn't this teenage girl named Cleopatra. But I changed it around so it's actually about, instead of a 19 year old Filipino guy, it's about a uh, 17 and a half year old uh, uh, Filipino girl. Now, uh, that's how I changed the name. That's when I'll read a little bit about this, okay? This is from uh, chapter 3 of um, Can't Find My Way Home. Cleo was not feeling the day. It was almost three months before her birthday and two months before her high school graduation. She still had her senior project and she was working on and she was nowhere halfway done. How she got home after her jacked up ride dumped her off in the middle of Miracle Mile at 1.30 in the morning is a miracle itself. Miracle, all right, was that nobody tried to kidnap or assault her walking home at that time of night. That's a little bit from uh, one short story. Now, there's other stories in here. Um, I would like to, once again, give disclaimer. This is a collection of fictional stories. Um, there's another story in there called Meet Me at Kelly's Burger. I'll read a little bit from that. And um, let me tell you the backstory behind that. Uh, I had a friend back when I was going to CSU Stanislaus of uh, college. He was a audio video t um, technician, the older gentleman named Ruben. Basically, he was a Vietnam veteran. And I, based, I updated the story to, um, to modern times for present day contemporary Stockton. And, and um, this is what I'll say about this. It's called Meet Me at Kelly's Burgers. Isidoro was a quiet man. He liked hamburgers. He stood next in line at the local hamburger stand called Kelly's. He grew up on Kelly's Burgers. There was no way he was going to eat at those big name, no flavor burger joints. Not if he could help it. It had to be a Kelly's Burger. The teenage boy in front of him ordered a strawberry milkshake and regular cheeseburger. No fries. Isidoro was quietly listening to the girl ta taking the order and peeing it back to the teenage customer making sure she got it right. The boy waited in the, in the wooden bench laid out for his order, lo looking at his text messages and texting back. Um, that's just a little taste of what's inside of uh, this collection of short um, stories. Now, uh, because I'm blessed to be in a, uh, a, a church that that's, has brothers and sisters in Christ that are willing to help out, we're going to start filming some of the... Um, some of the stories that are in this book. One of them is going to be called Moment of Decision. That's a tentative title. And hopefully we can get, get with um, some other individuals that are willing to participate, volunteer for the, uh, the one I just read called Meet Me at Kelly's Burgers. And um, once again, this is a good uh, set of short stories. For those who don't like to read, don't wait for the movie. It's, not gonna, it's gonna be a while before the movie comes out, but it's not 